In the case of Thompson v. Hubbard, 2001, heard in the United States Court of Appeals, 8th Circuit, the parents and daughter of Ravone Thompson brought an action against police officer Brian Hubbard, alleging excessive use of force in violation of Thompson's civil rights under 42 U.S.C. section 1983. The incident unfolded when Hubbard, responding to a report of an armed robbery, approached Thompson, who fit the description of one of the suspects. A foot chase ensued when Thompson attempted to flee, culminating in Hubbard shooting Thompson, believing he was reaching for a weapon. However, no weapon was found on Thompson's body. The court was tasked with determining whether Hubbard's use of deadly force was objectively unreasonable, which would constitute a violation of Thompson's Fourth Amendment rights. The standard applied was from Graham v. Connor, which posits that the reasonableness of a particular use of force must be judged from the perspective of a reasonable officer on the scene, rather than with the benefit of hindsight. The court also examined whether the totality of the circumstances gave Hubbard probable cause to believe that Thompson posed a threat of serious physical harm. The court upheld the district court's grant of summary judgment for the defendants, ruling that Hubbard's use of force was within the bounds of the Fourth Amendment. The court reasoned that an officer is not constitutionally required to wait until he sees a weapon before employing deadly force to protect himself against a fleeing suspect who turns and moves as though to draw a gun. Despite the tragic outcome, the court found that the plaintiffs failed to present enough evidence to permit a reasonable jury to conclude that Hubbard's use of deadly force was objectively unreasonable.